Congratulations on your purchase of a 2B Technologies ozone monitor. We at 2B Tech want to make sure your ozone monitor performs well for you. This short video shows you how to set up your ozone monitor and how to start making measurements. Our other videos will show you how to perform routine maintenance and make simple repairs. To start making measurements, we simply need to power up the ozone monitor. The instrument may be powered by the 12 volt power pack supplied with the instrument. The power pack may be plugged into any 110 volt or 220 volt AC source. The appropriate plug was supplied for your country, but other plugs are available. Simply plug the DC power jack into the ozone monitor and the AC power plug into an AC source. Then flip on the power switch on the front of the instrument. The first few ozone measurements will be zero, followed by spurious measurements for up to several minutes as the instrument warms up. After a 20 minute warm up time, the ozone measurements should be reliable. Notice that the display is refreshed every 10 seconds with a new ozone measurement. The second line of the display alternates between showing the temperature and pressure inside the detection cell and showing the time and date. For this ozone monitor, the cell temperature is 33.9 degrees Celsius and the pressure is 809.8 millibar. You can check the flow rate by rotating the select switch. For this instrument, the volumetric flow rate is 982 cc's a minute. The flow rate needs to be at least 600 cc's a minute to make an accurate measurement. While the instrument is warming up, let's explore the menu. To access the menu, hold the select switch until the word menu appears and release. You now see four submenus. DAT stands for data, AVG is for average, CFG is configure, and LMP is for the lamp. We can rotate the select switch to move the cursor between submenus. The left arrow will return us to the main menu. Let's select the data menu and see what's there. To select the data menu, place the cursor over the D in DAT and press the select switch. We now see the three submenus for logging data in the internal data logger. XMT is for transmitting log data. LOG is to start logging data. And of course, END is to stop logging the data. We can click on the left arrow to go one level up in the menu. Now let's explore the other menus starting with the averaging menu. Here we can choose averaging times of 10 seconds, 1 minute, 5 minutes, and 1 hour. Now let's check out the configuration menu. The DT menu is where you can set the date and time. In the Cal menu, you can change the calibration parameters for ozone and also for the internal flow meter. The IO menu for input-output allows you to set the baud rate for data transmission to a computer, scaling factors for the analog inputs and outputs, see how many hours the instrument has been operated, and turn the display backlight on and off. The units menu allows you to select the units of temperature, pressure, and ozone that are displayed and logged. The lamp menu allows you to measure the lamp voltage and stability of the lamp. To return to making measurements, select the left arrow. You can learn more about the functions of all of these submenus in the user manual. Now, let's take a look at the back of the instrument. The connector on the right is the air inlet. If we place a finger over the inlet, we can feel the suction. This is a standard quarter inch swage lock fitting. We can attach a quarter inch inlet line here. The connection should only be finger tight to avoid damaging the connector. Also be sure to only use an inlet line made of Teflon, Kynar, FEP, or some other fluoropolymer. Especially don't use Tigon because it outgasses organic compounds that contaminate the flow path. The tubing we prefer is Teflon line Tigon such as we are using here. Teflon or PTFE line Tigon has the flexibility of Tigon and the inertness of Teflon. The BNC connector just to the left of the air inlet provides a 0 to 2.5 volt analog output. 2B Technologies has these adapters available for sale online. We can also upgrade your instrument to include a 4 to 20 milliamp current output if you require it. The 9 pin connector at the back of the ozone monitor is used to provide communication to your computer using the serial cable provided. This is a straight through serial cable. Most serial cables, such as those found in electronic stores, are crossover serial cables and will not work. The connectors labeled A, B, and C are analog inputs for signals from other instruments or devices such as temperature, pressure, and humidity sensors, or any other instrument that has a voltage output. Input voltages should be in the range of 0 to 2.5 volts. 2B Technologies has these stereo jacks available online for sale. The voltages are measured and logged along with the ozone data. 
This concludes our brief introduction to the 2B Tech Ozone Monitor. Please watch our other videos to learn how to use the data software and how to perform simple maintenance and repairs.